Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And thankfully we got Jesus in the background too because we might need him. We just come down an alley and felt like we might get murdered, don't you? Well, I said it's kale or be kaled. So we come to Kale's Chapel, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we are in Coal City. Yeah, we're a little goofy. Yeah. But we are in Coal City. Coal yeah. City, West Virginia. You know what? We said, take me down to the Coal City where the coal is black and and then we yeah, ran out of yeah, lawns. But yeah. yeah, anyways, we're in Coal City, West Virginia, and we're gonna give you guys a look around. Yeah, we're gonna get on the road before this dog decides to move and come at us, because <laughs> probably tear both of us up and single bound. No, anyway. I'm the animal whisperer, but okay. anyways. Maybe that's why I didn't attack it. Yeah. Let's get on the road. Okay. Well, it looks kind of ominous okay. back there too, didn't it? Speaking, <coughs> of, speaking of kill or be killed. Yeah. Could be lightning striking us here. We're in the Kills Chapel Church. Mm -hmm. I guess that'd be a good place to Get struck by lightning, wouldn't it? Or would that it be a bad sign? It says a place where you are cared for. Okay. So if you get struck by lightning, they'll care for you. Yeah, that's good. So it's a good place. Yes. I mean, not that you want to get struck by lightning, but if. If you were. If you were. Come to yeah. Kel's Chapel. It's a sinkhole. You're fascinated by the smallest things, aren't you? I really am. Okay. Well. This might not, this parking lot could not be here the next time. Lost her too. We just had to stop and show you the cemetery and all these wildflowers growing. It is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. It really is. I like the trees too. Oh They're yeah. They're like a very interesting shape. Yeah, they are. I can see me finding some peace here if I, yeah. if I was it's buried here. beautiful little cemetery. Yeah, it is. But we wanted to stop and show you little interesting sights like that. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. We are pulling out in Coal City, West Virginia. Or on the outskirts of Coal City. We're not really sure. We're not really sure. We've never been to Coal City before in our lives, have we? Nope, we sure haven't. But Coal City is in Raleigh County and it is an unincorporated community. And it was named Coal City because of its position within the coal mining region in southern West Virginia. I can't think of a better reason, can you? Nope, sure can't. Population is a little less than 2,000 people. Um, and it was developed on the ridge of the Gondot Mountain. And it was privately owned farmland and coal miners who earned enough to purchase a lot gradually moved into the community purchasing land and properties. Did you just say Guyandot? Yeah. Well, you pronounced it perfectly. Good job. Yeah. Took me years. Really? Yeah. Every time I come up, Guyandot, you got that gun. Guyandot. I think I, I think I've probably heard it, but I was just kind of sounding it out and it seemed right. Well, there you go. Looks like that some bad weather ahead of this away. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to me. This is not, in any way, shape, form, or fashion, look like a coal camp. No, it's not necessarily coal camp per se, I don't think, but oh, it's no. kind of like farmland on the outskirts surround mines. Yeah, it's definitely in the middle of, right smack dab in the middle of heart of coal country, but it doesn't have the telltale row housing and that type of thing it just seems more like a rural community yeah typical that you'd see in Appalachia just about anywhere yeah you don't like set the row housing there's a lot of telltale signs usually when you're in a coal camp yep unless this one's just been wiped out but I don't believe that mm -mm. and a couple of things are missing that you usually see in a coal camp and that is usually runs right along the stream of water river or creek or whatever uh -huh. and I don't see that here it yeah. looks like we're on top of a mountain Usually the coal camps were like right where the mine would be, right, too, to make it kind of close for the people to get to work. Yeah, and then they usually don't have a wide road like this. This is a fine, you know what I mean? It's usually a tighter, mm -hmm. tighter road, and this is perfectly proportionate to what you'd expect. Yeah, I kind of took it that, like, as people that worked in the mine built up money that they kind of got out of the coal camp and kind of more secluded, which this looks like it was more populated in the day than what it is now because there's some old buildings that look like stores that have closed yeah well and to, to to your point slightly my 
mom's dad. He worked at Jewel Ridge Coal, but he did not live in the camp. Yeah. He actually had a house and had a subsistence farm, as they say. Yeah. Where they grew, you know, gardens and that kind of thing. And he also worked in the mines. And I'll tell you what, can you imagine that going to work in a mine and then try to keep up a home, home somewhere? A farm, yeah. Yeah, it'd be rough. Oh, yeah. That's why you have kids, I guess, but still. Yeah. That's how you have kids. <laughs> Put them to work. Yeah, I have a big crew, like seven or eight, ten kids. Yeah. So in Raleigh County, there was Winding Gulf Coal Field yes. and the New River Coal Field. Does that sound right to yeah. you? Yeah, the New River was right along through here near Beckley. We, we passed it the other day, and then Winding Gulf. And the Canal, Kanawa, Canal. Canal. It mm -hmm. was somewhat in Raleigh. From what I read, too. Yeah, and that's what you know. Winding Gulf. Only thing I know about it much. It was a pretty big operation, and it's it's scrip, which is the form of money that they used in the company store. Mm -hmm. Is some of the most easy to find and very cheap. You can get it. If you, know, if you want a, just a sample, just find you some Winding Gulf. They got some really cheap scrip out there. Oh yeah. And here is the Kells Chapel Church. Do a little loopy de loop here. A loop it a loop. <laughs> Beautiful cemetery. Yeah, beautiful cemetery. So, it's starting to rain a little bit. Yes. I just wanted to roll back through here because we saw this earlier, like the Coal City Cemetery. I don't know, just seeing the words Coal City written mm -hmm. for some reason to me. It's, just it's really neat. Really neat, yeah. Because it's just a coal country and let's just embrace it. You yes. Know? So, well, it's a, kind of an eerie day, isn't it? I, I, I think the yes. camera's picking it up too. It's dark and very and well and as we pulled to the cemetery we had a ghost experience and you just said you don't want to talk about that well i knew you were wanting to i no, could tell you, that you, you were building no, up to it you didn't want to talk you go ahead you go ahead tell them tell them what happened well we were as you just saw the glitch in the camera yeah we were rolling along and what happens our gopro flaws on the floor yeah turns off and then guess what comes on the stereo comes on playing bluegrass music yeah and it won't, you can't turn the volume up, you can't turn it off, you can't uh -uh. turn it down, you can't stop it. I turn the car turn off. to radio, yeah. We had to turn the car completely off. And back on. That and was then, weird. Uh, we never was, had anything like that happen before. No, it just froze up. Like everything we touched on the screen would not work. Yeah. It was determined to play. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. The Dillards, who are also known as the Darling Boys on mm -hmm. Andy Griffith's show. Mm -hmm. So... I guess that's interesting. Don't do it. You want to live below the mill. That wasn't that song, with Y'all tell Shane for me that he needs new windshield wiper blades. Oh, I'm sure I'll I've been telling video. him that for like a month. I'm sure I'll hear it in this video. Well, it looks bad. I forgot. Uh, I only remember when it's raining and then I don't want to get out and get wet. Yeah, I get it. But anyways. That has nothing to do with Coal City. Has nothing to do with Coal City. Don't let this distract you from the the main point. The focus here. Yeah. yeah, I like these little buildings that were stores. Yeah. You can see that. I don't know which way it's back home. I don't think that we come from the I don't left. Too, but I'm gonna go down this way just to see what's down there because we've Okay. Looks like there's pretty good population back through here too. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go back, turn around. Yes. But yeah, this is just an interesting population. And so it's obviously, these houses all got built close to each other, but they're not. At least not many of them look like there'd be any type of row housing. Mm-mm. No. I don't think so. Well. Looks like mostly houses back through here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like this town's just basically it comes down to being just residential area now yeah i don't really i don't see hardly any business did you there was an that just seemed to be operational mm, no uh, not that i saw yeah i was like we saw a lot of like you said buildings that had been for businesses but i didn't really see anything active at the point no we looked for a local restaurant and all that come up was hunt brothers yeah that's in a convenience store so. yeah but i didn't even see a convenience store here did you no i didn't Probably on the outskirts. Yeah, probably so. So that's interesting. And, and we're kind of on top of a mountain. So this I just said it was developed on the ridge of the Gondot Mountain. You don't listen to me just like a man. 
I was so thrown when you said guy and right that I was stupefied. <laughs> uh, I, did just, I was shook. I'll, I'll take that as an excuse, I guess. That's a good excuse. So. So, where are we ending up here? We have no idea. Well, I think we probably need to take us back the other way, don't you? You're probably right. Reminds me of Andy Griffith's show. When and there was some more cool stuff to see back that way. Yeah, so. Well, hopefully you, if you're watching this, don't have to suffer through this with us. We'll just get it right out, and you'll be right to the good, cool spot. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. This is a community Baptist church. Yeah. And it's on down to. is Vision Free Will. Have you, are you familiar with Free Will Baptist? Yeah, that's what one of the churches I grew up in. I didn't know that. Yeah. The church beside of my house that we went into and looked around and you videoed the sign outside that says Tunnel Hill Free Will Baptist Church. Oh, so that was a Free Will Baptist. Yeah, so that was a Free Will Baptist. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I don't feel like I have free will with you, I guess. What are you talking about? Oh, it's not like a good time. Free will to not listen. I'm trying to get us out of there. Is missing. Well, that's sad. Mm. I've seen a lot of people post that their animals have been missing lately. Ain't that weird? I was thinking I saw that on like a movie, but it was Paw Patrol. So I don't guess that's. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought it was like some post apocalyptic. No, it was Paw Patrol. No. Um. Yeah, so my mama went, was a Baptist, and. The church beside the house I grew up in was Free Will Baptist, and so I went there a lot, but mostly grew up in Pentecostal. Yeah. But I kind of waffled between Pentecostal and Baptist. But, well, I growing don't, up, my parents were all Pentecostal, but when yeah. I was on my own, I got to Baptist eat. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm Pentecostal, but that was the church that I went to the most growing up. Yeah, same here. Exact same thing. I was kind of have a little, you know, heartburn about some few things there. Yeah. Look what a big giant Kent's Ridge. Yeah, I can see that. I feel like Jewel Ridge. Yeah, I see like that too. Ridge. Okay. Well. A rainy day in Coal City. Rainy day in Coal City. That'd be a good. Uh, title for this. Shane needs new white wipers in Coal City, West Virginia. Yeah. Will this be the last video he has before he gets with new wipers? Mm -hmm. I hope he get a new car. That's the thing. Yeah, why buy new windshield wipers when you can just buy a new car? We should have thought of that a couple weeks ago before I got a flat tire and just popped a bounder box. Oh yeah, that's true. A couple of weeks ago. That's a couple of days ago. I know, but if I had the new car two weeks ago, uh -huh. maybe this would have happened to me. Maybe. Or you may have gotten a flat tire in your car. Do we go that way, I think? Yeah. yeah. Take me out of Coal City because the weather's getting pretty. Mm -hmm. oh. Not pretty. Oh, yeah. Getting pretty, not pretty. I'm say pretty with an S word. Oh, gotcha. But I won't curse or cuss yes. or slur. You can always depend on Dollar General. Yes. Dollar General Store. You don't know that song? No, I don't. That was their big, that's what made them. Well. Was it that, or was it the fact that they sprung up a mile apart everywhere? I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Ooh, I saw some lightning. Here, we used to be a convenience store. That's so cool. They made it into a house. Oh, yeah. That is pretty neat. What an idea. Huh. Very we can, cool. We can do that for an Airbnb or something. Yeah, that would be neat. Here's Ashland. It was a convenience store, and it looks like it's closed. Yep. So... Not much to choose from up here, is there? Mm -mm. It's just it's like it's hard times have hit Coal City. Yeah. Now there's your title. Hard times have hit Coal City. Yeah. I would like to know what that building was. If yeah. anybody was familiar with Coal City, we'd love to hear from you. It's in the um, town you end up in either. It's just you've got to be choosing to come here. Yeah. Here's a, here's a post office to the left. 
I guess. Whole uh, city, West Virginia. And this is an interesting thing. They have a veteran. They have and a I really mean, nice veterans thing. And this looks like an old school up there, too. Yeah, that's what it is. It's an old school. Ooh, that's a big top. Well, mm -hmm. maybe not. Raleigh County Veterans Memorial. Well, you can get, actually get a veteran's brick still. That's got to be the old school. I'd like to know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure somebody who went to school there. It'd be kind of cool place to say you graduated from at Cole City. And there's if it was a Stocko Community Park. So they got a little playground, a little football field. Looks like maybe they're playing soccer out there in the rain. Yeah. They got a nice little playground. That's good. It's always good to see something for kids in a town. Yeah, it makes me think that somebody around here has had some sort of money at some point. Let's see if you know, that's, that Veterans Memorial is nice too. Oh. There's a poster of a cat missing. So somebody's missing a dog and a cat. Those break my heart to see those. You think there's a thief on there? Maybe. You know what they're doing? They're going on that Melody Black Market out there. They know they can sell it to you. I wouldn't do that. I got a cat, I got a cat here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Calico, there's so, Tabby. There's so many cats that need homes and dogs. And you took in how many? I have two. Thank you very much. That you acclaim. You're like one of those side, you know, side pieces is what I call them. A side Well, pet. don't, don't fuss because you're one of my strays too. You just don't realize it. <laughs> Cole City Volunteer Fire Department. I was going to call you the uh, Tiger Woods of cat owners. But What's that supposed to mean? You just got a lot on the side. You know, you know, oh my you know, gosh. You can work out. You never met a stray cat you didn't like. Now, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have food and new windshield wipers and... True. Better quit pushing my lock out there. That's right. Okay. Well. So there was a... What was that? Mason Lodge or something? I don't know. Lots of buildings not in use. Yes. And I guess we're running our real estate, you think? Yeah, we're about out of Cold City, it looks like. Looks like we're... Ooh. We're about to get struck by lightning. If, don't say that. If we don't get out of here. We don't get out of here. Yeah. So. So let's get on out of here. Let's start back to the intro or the outro. What do you say? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at Cole City, West Virginia. That's right. We uh, sure enjoyed our little trip through here. So we hope you guys did too. If you did, give us a thumbs up, yes. subscribe to our channel, share it, and leave us a comment. Yes, and let's. See you folks on down the road.